Hello! Welcome back to Level 1 News. Today is July 9th, and we're doing robot design and nonsense news for the end of the week. The first story could almost be nonsense. Yeah, I was kind of like, well, this was a missort. Now, I remember when uh, they did this with the whales. Remember that? Mm. They're like, yep, we know what the whales are saying. And everybody's like, well, how did you figure that out? Now, don't worry about it. We know. <laughs> we know exactly what they're saying. Remember this that whale that kept killing its trainers? That's uh, how we... I don't know if they talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like constant screaming when we put it through the AI. They tried to talk to him, and then it turned out like his squeaks and clicks were always just, am I being detained? <laughs> But chickens, now they do seem to have applied a little more science here, but you do have to question it. Mm. Artificial intelligence could spot baby chickens in distress. The advance may one day help farmers better monitor the health and welfare of their flocks. So it turns out that the chickens make different sounds and do different things depending on their state of being. So we can use high resolution cameras and microphones to figure that out. Now they point out that the chickens they used to capture this data are stored in stacked cages for most of their lives. I think so it's probably, factory farming, yeah. I would think a baseline level of distress there, right? Yeah. yeah like just existential. I'm being raised for food in a, a yeah, horrible gulag. Yeah, I'm in a tiny yeah, cave full of my own poop. I've only ever known the tiny cage, and then you let me out one time, and now I have something to miss. See, that's what happens when I let my cats out on the covered porch. <laughs> <laughs> They just sit in the out the door. Actually, yeah. <laughs> or that's what happens like every time I feed my cat and then it eats all the food and then the food is gone. It's like, I remember when I had food in this bowl. <laughs> yeah. I am ashamed to admit that I have now moved down back to regular eggs. <laughs> they just, I can't pay $5 for eggs. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Not when the other ones are $2. I love the chickens. I want them to be free and happy, but $5 for 12 eggs. Come if on. they get much more expensive, I'm just going to turn the garage into a chicken coop. Yeah, at this point, it makes sense. Right? I'm, I'm curing onions right now. We're growing our own onion crop. Well, I don't have a lead-in that uh, has, has anything to do with the onions, moon. Yeah. Maybe we can raise chickens on the moon. <laughs> I don't know. Capstone launches a new test orbit for NASA's Artemis moon missions. Yay, NASA. USA. So, this is part of the moon gas station that we're building is it gonna be like a bucky's <laughs> <laughs> how do you think the bathrooms gonna have a wall will the journey. bathrooms on the moon gas station be good or bad i think they'll be good at least well, they, for now because it's so exclusive to get up there but they have to you have to use that suction wand so Ooh. it's not great no matter how you do someone it. someone else used it right before you and oh. it's still kind of soggy <laughs> oh. they didn't even hang it back on the wall it's just in the floor well i guess it'll be floating wouldn't it yeah and of course, Dolly is the hot new meme generator. It's amazing. Dolly is the internet's favorite AI meme machine. This is Dolly Can't Mini. Confirm. Yeah. This is a different one. So these guys, it's a pain in the ass sometimes to find somebody who will let you use Dolly for free. Dolly 2. And these guys created Dolly Mini. Yeah. It's not as extensively trained and blah, blah, blah. Dolly 2 is the one that does the really, really super high fidelity like you can just tell it crazy stuff and you end up with very detailed like I want a photorealistic picture of uh, I don't know something insane and it will it will totally do it but um, Dolly Mini is a little more blurred a little less refined but it's a lot of fun to play with I wrote a guide it's on the level one forum and it's free for how to, for how to set it up and get it running now these are very feel good stories and I think this is a very worthwhile thing that we should be investing in because you never know when this could happen to you and what a great thing to to get back into your life but i'm also a little bit worried that we're contributing to a data set to build killer robots yes with human movements brain machine interface helped a man with paralysis feed himself using robotic arms yay please make sure that human beings and researchers are in charge of this and not corporate persons like you know what when we're in the factory farming cages this is how they'll feed us Mm -hmm. yeah when we're in the factory farming cages, this will convince us that we're not. <laughs> By stabbing out our eyes. I don't know, we'll be in the pod thing, like in the Matrix. And uh, GitHub has the co-pilot, and for a while there they were testing it. A lot of people had some good things to say about it. Other people had some terrible things to say about it. But now, you can try it. Copilot, GitHub's AI-powered programming assistant, is now generally available. It's $100 a year. It's no longer a free product. Another subscription. On top of all the hundreds of others. But it's going to do everything for you, Krista. Just pay that $100 and go on vacation. 
Remember the guy when we first started, everybody started doing remote work, and the one guy was farming it out to Southeast Asia? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like that. Yeah. And here's a story that we've seen before, mm. and I remember how this story ends. Not good. Not good. <laughs> New algorithm can predict future crime a week in advance with 90% accuracy. Accuracy in parentheses, I'm sure. It, or in, in quotes. In order to do this, it needs all of your geolocation and mobile phone data for a given area. Hmm. And they assured us this would never be used for actual policing. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. the article authors say that you shouldn't use this alone. It's like, oh, if the, the AI predicts there's going to be a huge amount of crime here, you, you shouldn't just garrison a police unit there. Don't worry. We're not just going to use that. We're also going to get Google's geolocation and the license plate information. We're going to use <laughs> those, all those together, and then it'll all be good. We've got all this circumstantial evidence against you. Prove that you're innocent. Oh, no. And of course, life on Mars, that's the big argument, right? I think the space agencies right now are sort of blitzing to try to hype things up. Yeah. Rock samples from NASA's Curiosity Mars rover contain key ingredients for life. Carbon and hydrogen together at last. You know that meme where it's the puppet and he's like, he's got white eyes and then he's looking this way? <laughs> that's got to be how NASA feels right now in terms of next year's budget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the economy's not good. What's the first thing that always gets cut? That picture could also just be Lake Mead. Is it Mars or Lake Mead? <laughs> Did you guys know that we have robots on the on Mars? We need to keep those going. And uh, are you guys, uh, Krista, you're a big, you know, doom. Yeah, right? doom are, scroller. Are you into the, the solar reset and the, the sunspot that's pointing right at us right now? I've been watching it a little bit. So far, it seems like it's not that big of a deal, though this story kind of indicates it might be a bigger deal than I originally mm -hmm. thought. I don't know. Wild solar weather is causing satellites to plummet from orbit. It's only going to get worse. So satellites have the solar wind mm -hmm. that they have to contend with. And they're going to use more fuel than normal because of the solar wind. I like to imagine the satellites are like, oh, God, it's hot. Let's go down here. Let's move down a little bit where yeah. it's nicer. And then the stratosphere. Like, then they start firing off the propellant and they're like, no. <laughs> Don't you know there's a giant thermonuclear ball of flame up there? We don't want to be around that. It's a Carrington event. That'll be the end of the 20s. We're, uh, we're quarter of the way through the Roaring Twenties. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Assuming we'll ever get out of it. Uh -huh. You think we'll reset the calendar when we go back to the, the warlords? <laughs> That's what the Mayans thought, yeah. Uh -huh. This is a dumb argument, and it just won't go away. <laughs> government after government has weighed in on this, but this guy keeps just going back and trying again. UK decides that AI still cannot patent inventions. The human being has to use it like a tool, so it's a tool. It can't, can't patent anything to more than a, than a uh, circular saw could patent, patent something. There's definitely a group of people right now, like the Google guy and this guy, who are trying to convince us that AI is sentient. You think that's individual people working, or is there some sort of like weird George Soros type of thing going on here? I don't think there's a conspiracy behind it. I think people just really like the idea of it being like magic. Are they trying to get corporate personhood for AI? Because boy, would that be a darkness. That actually, that actually is probably the better <laughs> idea. The more people like that come out of the woodwork, the more that I think that the future contemplated by Warhammer is probably closer to future than I would like to admit. Oh, we got a story about Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed to talk about that future anymore. <laughs> Well, you know what? We're talking about exploring all these planets. Whoever talks about Neptune? Nobody. Nobody talks about Neptune. It's the least popular planet to explore. Chinese boffins suggest launching a nuclear Neptune orbital in 2030. So this is going to be a spacecraft that launches Neptune and uh, does some fun stuff. It's so far out. It's cold. Everyone's gotta... just like, Neptune, though? You gotta... Her? I like the 2001 Space Odyssey uh, subquote. And uh, you got to keep that warm because it's away from the sun. How do you do it? More nuclear power. More nuclear power. Just, just amp up the nuclear fission reactor. Launch that into space. Yeah, we don't like to do that because it tends to explode, but we definitely did do that with one of the Mars rovers. And the Mars rovers, you got to admit, they're getting it done up there. They are. But you know what they can't do? Launch themselves back to Earth. <laughs> That's the next step. China aims to bring Mars samples back to Earth two years before NASA, according to the ESA mission. 
if China gets a really advanced rover up there that I, that has a launch system that can get back out of there, <laughs> it's just going going to go and rob all the samples from the ones that are there yeah. now, right? Aww. That's I love that. That that's a recurring joke in the Space Force TV series, and it is so funny because it's like, oh, the American science team has finally showed up wherever, and it's like, wait, what is that? What is that? Is that a, oh, it's the Chinese have already been here. <laughs> It'll be the picture of that Chinese robot just going through the pockets of <laughs> yeah, Discovery. Yeah. Like, what do you got? It takes that rock that's in the wheel well, yeah. one of them. Yeah, it's like, oh, sorry. You know, hey, bro, you need some help here? There you go. <laughs> it, she, she. It would have to do this. <laughs> it just walks off. You know the thing where, uh, like, if you're in a bad neighborhood or something, sometimes you tuck in your chain to hide it. It's like it's trying to hide all of its rocks. <laughs> Those aren't rocks. I don't know what those are. I definitely didn't spend the last year collecting those. <laughs> and we have another disease that AI can sniff out. Single brain scan can diagnose Alzheimer's disease, according to the Imperial College London. They're trying to figure out why. The AI sees something the doctors don't see. It's a, a surprisingly effective. That's like, I don't think I'd want to know. Like, if I got it, it's like, oh, by the way. Well, but I mean, if you're getting up there, I think you should know because it's like, mm, maybe I should not buy this car. Maybe I should not be driving, yeah. Mm. Although people never seem to have that self-awareness uh. when it comes to it. Also, remember the one that could tell your race from your skeleton? Yeah. I think some scary stuff in these AIs. Although it could just be the data set bleeding over in ways that it could they be cheating. Realize, yeah. yeah, it could be cheating in ways we don't understand. Now, when it comes to the robots on Mars, they have to stay up there for a long time. It takes a long time to get there, and then you're never coming home. But you might survive longer than we ever expected, which leads to these kind of hilarious headlines. <laughs> the Mars Express spacecraft is finally getting a Windows 98 upgrade. <laughs> what year is it? It's What was it? It's a water. The instrument that looks for water is running on Windows 98. If I'm the engineer who's in charge of this, I and I'm waiting for a Windows update on my robot that's on Mars, <laughs> you're gonna, I'm going to be able to cut glass with how puckered my butthole is going to be <laughs> during that whole thing. Like, Windows updates are always harrowing. But when it's on Mars... And here we go, Krista. This we is have a design story. The new Gmail design. Gmail's redesign interface includes chat and meet is now the default, which we did a story about this like two or three months ago. They they put they added a sidebar and they made the padding bigger. That's it's not wildly different. No, it's really not. Some people in the comments were really upset. They're like, I don't like that sidebar, but you can hide it. So it's like what, or you can just completely opt out of the new design entirely. Look at this girl down here. She looks like she's got a secret. The chances of six people having webcams that good is <laughs> astronomically Zero. small. Also, team no webcam. I don't turn webcams on for calls. I don't think they should have press released a design update that silly or that minimal. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. Though people do get, it seems like even if it is a minimal change, people get very upset about it. I haven't switched over yet. I'm waiting for it to hit me. Yeah. It doesn't look that bad though. It seems fine. It's about the same. Now, uh, this is our nonsense transition story, I think, because yeah, it's space, but it's also a little bit nonsense. A lot. Uh, Once again, I, at this point, you know, I guess, you know, the children of the 80s, and I'm one of the few that remembers it, Highlander 2. <laughs> they did this in Highlander 2. It did not go well. MIT proposes a Brazil-sized fleet of space bubbles to cool the Earth. Basically, uh, Earth's maybe warming up. Maybe could, a solution is a giant plastic bubbles to deflect the sun's light. Could literally do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Now that is, uh, the whole idea here is to not put it in the atmosphere because they point out that if we do that whole thing where we uh, release particles into the atmosphere, if we're wrong about that, how do you fix it? They say that we can just pop these bubbles, but this is a million miles from Earth. So if we're like languishing in <laughs> climate crisis, what are the odds that we're going to be able to get, a, this is going to be Factorio. Don't put it in Windows 98. Like, Factorio, we're gonna instead of uh, you know the the monsters attacking us, it's gonna just be other people, like the you know the starving people, and we're trying to launch the rocket to pop the bubbles. <laughs> the last scientist on Earth. It's, it's oh. like <laughs> imagine the universe of a canticle for Leibowitz, but we're trying to launch the rocket and nobody really understands. The, we have to pop the bubbles. What are you talking about? The people are like. 
smashing the tempered glass <laughs> and coming in there and the, the science team and he was like we only needed four more purple research <laughs> four more purple research and then he puts the gun in his mouth <laughs> Disney has the Star Wars uh, thing we, we talked about the what do they call the thing where you live in the, the quote the unquote pod. spaceship <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I know. I can see the picture in my head, but I forgot what it's called. So this is part of it. And if you recall, you pay an insane price. You got, I don't remember what it was, but it was really high. It was extremely high. Just to get into that area of the park, and part of the return on investment there is that you get all these rides that nobody else gets to ride. But Disneyland guest says that they were evacuated from the Star Wars Rise of the Resistance three times in one day. This is a ride where people would apparently wait in line for two hours at a time. After a breakdown. No, it's so the average time during happy normal times is 105 minutes. Average wait time after a breakdown, 350 minutes. Wow. In the Florida heat. That's like uh, there was a ride at Kings Island for years, Tomb Raider. It broke down constantly. <laughs> uh, and, there, uh, there's also a meme circulating that's Jeff Bezos riding Space Mountain by himself. I haven't that. seen that. He could just get Space Mountain and move it to his property. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure he closes down an entire park and he feels more important doing it. <laughs> Give well, me the team that built this. So Disney obviously has all the little like, you know, DLC and stuff now. So you can pay $20 to go into the fast lane to, mm. to skip the line. But even then, some people reported that they'd paid the $20 and tried all day long and never actually got to go through the full ride. And they don't give you your money back. Well, no, no. Why would they? they don't even, you know what? They don't even give you a free t-shirt, but they do... If you slut it up real hard. <laughs> so do that and get that free t-shirt. Get some of your money back. Uh, all right. NetHack. NetHack. Is it art? Yes. Now it officially is. <laughs> gaming. A gaming night at the museum. So NetHack has been added to a, a, an exhibit in this museum. It predates uh, open source even. It's very, very old. This is an article from LinkedIn. Oh, it was a paywall alternative. Uh, plus, this guy was part of the NetHack team, and he was just, like, so excited about this. <laughs> uh, Fortress is in another museum, and I don't think it's a museum. I can't remember. What was this? Oh, uh, Museum of Modern Art. So this is a Moment. big one. Yeah. yeah. But the Dwarf Fortress is also in a museum somewhere. Hmm. Doesn't look like you can play it. You just have to just look at it. <laughs> I guess. Wow. Watch somebody, uh, a playback of somebody playing the game. They it, should, is, it is entertaining. They should have a security guard whose job is to sit there all day. Hmm. Imagine how good he would get at it. How long would it take? Uh, was it was NetHack also the amulet? Mm -hmm. How long would it take a normie, let's say like a 45-year-old security guard, to go from, I've never seen NetHack before, to I got the amulet? Probably about a month. What a great journey. Yeah. <laughs> You should record it and make it an interactive theater art piece. And these stories, my God, I don't have enough outrage left. <laughs> I'm out of outrage. Are you at like the hate nap stage? I've, I've gone through my reserve tank and <laughs> I've hate napped. And now when I wake up, it's still there. Uh, Uvaldi? Is that how you say that? You probably shouldn't say it. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Mother says the police are harassing her after she saved kids from the shooting. So this is the mom that just went in. Like they, they cuffed her. And she's like, no, I'm calm. And then once they uncuffed her, she hopped the fence and got her kids out. I love it. It was like a Looney Tune. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> And uh, she actually got a bunch of kids out of there. Yeah. Like, she succeeded where they failed. And they don't like that they, at all. Yeah. They pulled her over. And it was like, oh, is it, is it like your taillight out kind of thing? No, it was even more stupid than that. It was because they thought she had illegal aliens in her car. Like, How would you crazy... know that from looking in? Yeah, what kind of a, like, the level of incompetence mm. here is just staggering. But the level of incompetence and then, like, to double down on it. Yeah. That's astonishing. I think that, that a lot of Americans face similar kinds of things. We just don't always hear about it. Yeah. Well, that's why we're talking about it here. And getting demonetized for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the bored apes. Oh, my God. Bored I'm, and hungry. That's I'm so happy. On brand. I'm so happy this place is done. It's, I mean, not, it's not done. They're still in business. They, just don't, they just don't take crypto. Yeah, but what, what's the future going to be? <laughs> How, you know they had a big stockpile of crypto from that, right? Yeah. And they, you know there was there were HODL, <laughs> and now the L is over. 
this bored ape crypto restaurant has stopped accepting crypt crypto. For now, it's still open. Bored and hungry. You'd have to be out of your mind to go there. What, are the, what kind of food do they even serve? Stupidity. Where's it at? Monkey steak. Uh, Get Los pasta, Angeles, right? of course. Of course it's Los Angeles. Probably get a salad in there for about $20. Now, when all the wokeness started happening, I predicted this. I think I would actually set it on one <laughs> yeah, of these yeah, programs yeah, because yeah. there is no compatibility with gender politics in the Warhammer world. You see, the gene seed means that you'll never have girls. Never have girl space marines. You got the Battle Sisters, which is kind of like papering over that that thing. <laughs> but lore-wise, you can't have it. Warhammer 40k needs sensitivity, readers say, uh, uh, fans in open letter. Let's read the paragraph that was offensive. Uh, the process by which Space Marines were created is inherently on... Uh, a normal or a hormonal and biological makeup of the human male, meaning that only males can be subjected to the transformation. Isn't the Warhammer universe kind of horrific? Like Exactly. That, you brought up exactly what I was going to say, Krista. <laughs> You're worried about gender misidentity in a universe where they will very, very regularly just blow up entire planets. Yeah. Like, oh, there's some heresy on that planet? Just get rid of it. <laughs> we don't need that one. Because that's the idea. You see, human life doesn't matter in the Warhammer world. So, you got to understand. It feels like you're kind of missing the forest for the trees if that's what you're focused on a little bit. Or the entire planet. Normally, I'm fine with, like, let's try to add a few more women. But, like, it just doesn't seem like it adds anything in that universe. But, again, I'm not really up on the lore for that particular IP. Getting mad at nothing. I'm going to let the filter catch that one. <laughs> uh, rich people, boy, are they having a tough time because like, they're rich and they're better than the rest of us, but more and more they're having to deal with us because of the economic crisis. Oh, what can they do? Rich New Yorkers are getting bladder surgery and <sighs> Botox to avoid bathroom breaks on the drive to the Hamptons. This is some Hunger game shit. Yeah. So, so many rich people are fleeing the big city and going out to the closest thing they have to, you know, actual nature, that it causes traffic jams and they need to pee. And they don't want to use public restrooms. I wonder why. And apparently they're too good for Gatorade bottles. <laughs> or the side of the highway, like the good Lord intended. So, one of them is uh, prostate surgery, which, you know, we've known that that affects your bladder and all that system before, but... Women can't do that, obviously. They don't have one. Bladder Botox. Hmm. How do you get that in just, there? Just piss at a rest stop. No, but there are none. Like, the Hamptons is so separated. That, that, that's the point. You get away from the city. wonder if we can invest in a Bucky's between here and there. They need, to, <laughs> they need to white trash it up. And if you have to pee that bad, you pull over on the side of the highway. You get down in the grass and you do your thing. <laughs> Imagine the Hamptons crowd discovering, you know, like one of those cheesesteak burritos for the first time. They're like, oh, nine ninety nine. this is a bargain. A bargain. <laughs> and, uh, dear God, I'm so tired of the Paul brothers. But it seems that we're going to be seeing a lot more of them in the public eye. Uh, WWE tweeted that uh, Logan Paul's officially signed a WWE contract and delivers a message. Now, he is uh, very rich, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a wealthy man. So, I don't think they're going to pay him more than like a million a year. He's doing this purely because he wants to. PR. It's got to be. Well, he does. He didn't need to do the fighting, too. Yes. Yeah. And actually, he turned out to be like not terrible at it. Hmm. I mean, well, I don't think he's great, but he's way better than you would think a Some social guy, media yeah. star would be. Yeah. Also, the WWE is desperate for some kind of PR. That isn't the Vince McMahon rapes. <laughs> yeah. And also, you know, it's like the the era of TikTok and social media, and they're just like, what yeah. do we do? How I, do we get these people to watch this? Also, I can watch better fights online at any time. Why would I watch them? On Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. And there's going to be more and more of that. And of course, uh, you know, a good animal story, and this one is just astonishing because of the scale. 
109 live animals found in woman's luggage in a massive airport wildlife trafficking bust. Porcupines, armadillos, turtles, snakes, you name it, was in I, the luggage. I was imagining more like like endangered crickets or something, but it's actually large mammals. Why would these, I guess this is uh, traditional medicine, is that what, what's going on here? The Maybe. people were Indian, they were going to India. Oh, uh, yeah, it might be. Oh, look at those little turtles. There's going to be a lot of poop in that bucket. <laughs> Crab bucketing son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> They're all trying to get out. They can't. 109. That's that seems a, like a lot. How many bags did she check? No one thought, man, this is a lot of bags, and they yeah. all seem to be full of poop. I wonder if uh, maybe there was just like a bag full of crickets or something in there. They got the numbers up. Yeah. There was a lot of turtles in that bucket, but there weren't 109 of them. Well, back to the office. Actually, no one's doing that, right? Everyone thought better of it, except the world's richest man. <laughs> he made the demand, but maybe he didn't talk to the internal team first. Tesla employees had no place to sit and no parking spots when they showed up back to the office. They found nothing and crappy Wi-Fi, according to the sub-headline. So, as we said, this was actually a stealth layoff. Elon Musk didn't actually expect people to come back because during the last two years, they've hired more people but they haven't expanded their offices. So when you demand everybody come back to work, more people are showing up to work than were previously there. Oops. So what do you do? Send them back home. It's really a genius. Yeah. It's brilliant. Now, they are planning on fixing it and bringing them back. They may have at the time. That's when was the story. It's going to take a while to fix the offices. This was June 28th. I bet they're not back next week. Yeah, right? I was going to say, because you have to order all those chairs. You need to figure yeah. out where you're going to put everybody. <laughs> like... If you're if you're the CFO and you're looking into Q3 and Q4 of 2022, do you really want to be spending money on office furniture? I mean, really, really? Yeah, didn't didn't he also start laying people off because he's like, I have a bad feeling, and now he's like, No, everybody come back, and we need to spend a bunch of money on office furniture. Mm. And they're cranking out those factories are back up, and they're cranking out a lot of cars now. Seems to be humming along. I just threw this one in because it's funny to watch an industry die. Uh, mystery while Canadian radio station plays Rage Against the Machine song non-stop Killing in the Name was that the song? I think I saw this article somewhere else just over and over and over again in Vancouver which is what that song is just repetition Jesus I like Rage Against the Machine but how many times are you going to say the same phrase? and uh Children murdering. Now, this is a paywall alternative, but the tech tie-in, you're wondering, what's the tech tie-in here? She had a TikTok account, and she documented it on the TikTok account. Oh. Mm. Girl after sister's death. Well, I would have killed sooner if I knew I'd get McDonald's. They didn't know that she'd killed her sister at the time that she got McDonald's. No, she, they did. They did? They will often give you food during an interrogation to make you oh. more uh, open to talking to I them. I thought it was the parents that... Yeah. No, no, no. When, when they put you in an interrogation room... Immediately, they're going to be like, you need something to drink, you need something to eat, anything I can help you with. And if you say attorney, they will walk out and never talk to you again, and they will never bring you your McDonald's. So you, do you say McDonald's? That's a pro-criminal tip, right? You say McDonald's first, and then you say attorney. Yeah, you say, well, I'm too hungry to talk to you right now. And then as soon as you eat, you say attorney, and then they beat you until you mm. pee blood for the next week. Mm. But, uh, yeah, this paywall alternative doesn't have a – she TikToked a <clears throat> bloody glove in the – I think it was snow – must have happened earlier in the year. And, uh, of course, they had pictures of her TikTok. I guess you can get around not posting pictures of children in a news story if you're posting their social media in the oh. news story. So you see all of her little, like, teenage thought pics. The sister also was handicapped. Ooh. Yeah. So the question is... Some mental health issues there. Well, is it? Because as they're interviewing her, they're like, I don't know, she seems pretty lucid. But can we charge her as an adult? Is that a thing we're going to do? How old is she? 16. Uh, is, close. I think, was it 14 at the time? 14. Oh, 14. Wow. Sister was 19, but was disabled. It's, that makes me think, like, the way that she's so callous about it, is that, like, she's a psychopath or a sociopath? Or, like, there has to be something messed I, up there. Definitely to not problems. be weirded out. There's yeah. some problems in the home. There's definitely something going on there. Yeah. It doesn't usually happen like that. And here's a wild one, like how, I understand how we wouldn't know now that it's on the moon, but how do we not know when it went up? 
<laughs> Do we not monitor every every time North Korea tests a missile? They're like they're testing a missile. Or like if the asteroid gets even a little bit close to Earth, exactly, they it, it was a shoebox size asteroid. This was uh, if this was a rocket, it was some sort of like black site rocket launch that was you know muted from the news somehow, right? Mystery rocket, quote unquote, that crashed into the moon has baffled NASA scientists so far. No space exploring nations have claimed responsibility for the rocket. Elon Musk is sweating right now. <laughs> Let's get closer and see if it's any, you know, did the technology come from Earth? Oh, yeah. We saw it before <laughs> it hit the moon. Like, we saw it when it was going toward the moon. We were like, what is that? It's a rocket, but we couldn't tell. What if it's Bezos' it's a need, blue origin rocket? We just need a higher resolution picture, and then we can tell. We can look up the serial number. Oh, no, it's unmarked. Hmm. They couldn't find any markings on it when they were looking at it, uh, I think, when it was going toward there. Plus, it made two craters instead of one. They're not sure why. Hmm. Did it, obviously, did it bounce, but that doesn't make any sense. Something exploded. Yeah. The nonsense about this story is not so much that they made this mistake, because this is a classic mistake. They actually put this in movies. The nonsense here is that KISS is still touring. Yeah. <laughs> World touring. I think I missed this one. Uh, Kiss thanks the Australian fans. Austrian, you just made Austrian. the same. Uh, Kiss thanks their Austrian fans by showing Australian flag. Oh yeah. This popped up in the lounge the other night. In my head, I meant I, I missed this one somehow. I'm, I've been mentally correcting the whole time. Australians, the Australian flag. Like, was it supposed to be the British flag? I don't understand. No, no, they forgot they were near it. I bet or rather, their team did. I doubt they have any control over the graphics that display on the screen. That's probably true. Yeah. I bet it's depressing when you go backstage after the show and someone helps you into your chair and you have to like stretch out your face to scrub Ooh. the makeup from in between the lines because you're too old to be doing that. <laughs> and someone's going to point out that Mick Jagger and Keith Richards are still out there. Uh. <laughs> the undead. Uh, this is funny because this is sort of like... Uh, Pope versus 4chan. <laughs> Pope Francis tells mo moms to stop ironing son's shirts and urge them to get married. So this is a, a criticism. It took me a while to understand what exactly he was criticizing, but he was saying that, you know, children who live at home and parents Meets. who take care of them, don't do that. Kick them out. They need to, they need to go off yeah. and marry and reproduce. They need to procreate because the tithing is uh, getting a little sparse. <laughs> we need more people. What are they supposed to be ironing the kids' t-shirts? Because no neat is wearing like a nice That's collared true. shirt every right, day. Yeah, they're probably uh, you, like they're wearing the same t-shirt during the pandemic. You know, seven eight days in a row, right? Uh huh. Certainly no ironing going on there. And if you run a retail store right now, oh boy, are you hemorrhaging money? Because no one's shopping, but you still got this big thing. Plus, people are stealing. You got shrinkage. What can you do to save a little few cents at the end of the month? Analysts accuse Bed Bath & Beyond of scaling back uh, the air conditioning in stores to save money as sales are plummeting. Considering the strength of the grid right now, is that a bad thing? Is anyone upset that that's happening? Apparently well, it's, someone. It's going to be bad for your sales, right? I guess. <laughs> Even worse for you, so. It's a lot of consumers are really worried about the future, so they're not spending money what little they have. So, so it's not on housewares. Yeah. yeah, not on stuff you don't need. It's like, hey, maybe we should not even go beyond the bed and bath this time. Let's just stick with bed and bath. We don't need that extra stuff. And uh, when you are being investigated by the FBI for online crimes, here's a pro tip: throwing away your devices isn't going to save you, especially if you do it in the laziest possible way. <laughs> New Jersey man convicted of several very bad charges after throwing electronic devices into the bay. So there were two files that were stored on a cloud service that authorities sort of flagged as known. Uh, this. Yeah. Stuff. That was probably the Apple CSAM thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so they showed up at his <laughs> house and... That, he's like, that's weird. I don't know. And then he went home and he promptly threw stuff in the bay, which the Apple Find My located. What was the neighbor song doing? It? And they, they were happy to recover those things. And they were able to fix all that water damage. <laughs> <laughs> Although I guess they just had to get the storage out, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Although I think they said they got the iPad working again. Yeah. <laughs> Some FBI guys like, I'm going to take this home to my son. <laughs> you think they got uh, one of those, uh, do you think they rented the repair kit from Apple? <laughs> no, I don't think they did. 
<laughs> you you started to open this and then like you scrolled down and I started to laugh because the image is so yeah, it's so good. Remember the I guess it was probably four or five years ago now when the they had the clown issue. Yeah. yeah. And we're and nothing ever really happened to that, right? It was no. just like a handful of people dressing up as clowns. This has apparently been happening on and off for a while since 2018. 2018, but th- so he took a long time off, but now he's back. I wonder what happened. That he was like, you know what, I gotta get back maybe, out there. Maybe, maybe he got a girlfriend stairs. during that time. Yeah, think? he had no. a girlfriend, and then he was like, then they broke up. You know, it just didn't work out for like, whatever reason. He's like, I gotta get back out. There. My people need me. <laughs> Sleepy Somerset Village is in fear as latex-clad pervert Gimp Man returns to ambush couple. <laughs> is there any indication that he's actually a pervert? I don't think so. I was from the art, for, I mean, he just is dressed. He looks more like Slender Man. <laughs> Those images feel chaotic. <laughs> the, the blur, really. Yeah, it adds to it. the fear factor. So this was a woman who was uh, snapping his picture as she was running away from him. <laughs> there was another couple... And they describe him, he sounds kind of like a mummy, where he just like slowly comes with his arms out, <laughs> and they ran into him. I mean, I would be terrified of that, and I would probably mace him, but... There's nowhere, he cannot be storing a weapon, uh, right? No, there's no like, way. There's no way, there's any, so I would just, plus, that man has no periphery vision. <laughs> I would mess him up. I would just sidestep him. Are you saying you him. can take the, the Gip Man oh, pervert? Sure. Yeah, he's not going to be able to see. He's uh-huh. not, any kind of roundhouse punch coming at him is going to be totally blindsided. And then you get to be the guy who knocked out the Gimp Man. Uh, I would look, look at this. Look at this. Where's the headline? It's up here under the... Oh, it's some bad design. Oh, it's probably because they expect the ad to be there and the ad was suppressed. Yeah. It doesn't even work full screen. Something. But, but it's, uh, well, you'll have to read it from there. You, you know what the thing yeah, is, yeah. right? Uh, the AirPods have been swallowed by yet another TV presenter in a mix-up with his vitamins. It's a her. Or her, yeah. She, well, she th- I assume. <laughs> uh, and then there's a, there's a helpful, there was a helpful picture of vitamins, and it's like, oh, yeah, the vitamin pills. Oh. Yeah. That's those still are pretty some, big. Those are horse pills. Although this one's eh, probably my about the same as that one right but uh some people in the comments yeah Kirsty Alsop they claim that she might be uh looking for attention oh. she's a tv presenter who might have done things like this in the past she swallowed her airpods oh. or an, an airpod and I, I know what everybody's thinking is like did she poop them out no she gagged herself and, and got, got it out they said they still work hmm. but they smell bad oh. and prince charles Ooh, the royal family. It's not going well for them. You know, I read over this, and what happens if you're just like really awkward? Like you're really socially awkward. This this could possibly have been no actual wrongdoing. Right. <laughs> just also, like Prince Andrew. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. yeah, just Prince Andrew just didn't know how to act around young girls. <laughs> he does. He actually can't sweat. <laughs> Prince Charles denies any wrongdoing over bags of cash claim. So from what was it's been a while ago from like 2011 to 2014 or something there have been a couple of occasions where different dignitaries would just give him bags of cash all from the middle east yeah from uh qatar now he has a charity and the charity said no no he gave us all of the cash it's fine but you know there was another report that said that people from qatar or whatever were told that they could be knighted or get other superlatives if they did such things yeah uh which Prince's foundation offered to help a saudi billionaire secure honors it, so if you had to give a million dollars to secure honors and it was going to a charity that wouldn't be the worst thing the queen ever did well i think that's the, him who's i doing think it the though, right? qatari people might be a little argue upset. about why you would do that it doesn't seem to be necessary plus well, if you're if you're a prince what do you need cash for? I guess, I mean, if it's going to his charity, whatever. But Is, is Qatar also a monarchy? I'm not mm. certain. Engagement challenge. Someone in the chat probably knows. Uh, that guy's, oh, it actually gave his title. He was a former politician, prime minister, former prime minister. Is, it, is that where a prime minister runs everything or is that where president runs everything and prime minister is extra? Yeah. I'm really revealing my ignorance right now. Like Japan has an emperor. Yeah, but yeah, he doesn't do anything. I don't know how that works in Qatar. If you're in Qatar, please tell us. And tell us how you feel about the prince getting your money. That seems like a lot of money for that country. Also, 
Is there anything more like pathetic than being like, I want to be knighted, but not by my own country? <laughs> like, mm. Dude, they're not your king or your prince. They're not anybody's king. Well, Down with kings in 2024. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Independence Week. USA. It's, it's USA. Fun. Independence Week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's open it up to the entire week. I mean, it's Friday by now, so it's fine. Woo! All right. We will see you guys next week. Bye!